In example six, we're going to be looking at your product to sum and sum to product identities. If you look on your sheet, these are the two just below your sum and difference formulas, and this is what they tell me. First, I have my product to sum formulas. This is the third chunk of formulas on that right-hand side. What these tell me is that if I have sine of one angle multiplied by sine of another angle, that is the same as one half times cosine first angle minus the second minus cosine of the first angle plus the second. Or maybe I have cosine of an angle times cosine of another angle. This is the same as one half of cosine alpha minus beta plus cosine of alpha plus beta. Maybe I have sine of alpha times cosine beta. This equals one half sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta. And lastly, I can have cosine alpha times sine beta. And this will equal one half sine of alpha plus beta minus sine alpha minus beta. There are your four product to sum formulas. It really just depends on what you're given. If it's a sine times sine, cosine times cosine, sine times cosine, or cosine times sine. For example, go ahead and instead of using power reducing, I want you to use these product to sum identities to express sine to the fifth x in terms containing only first powers of sine. If you want to, try that on your own first, but if you need, you can go ahead and follow along with the videos. Okay, good. Now that we have plenty of room, we're going to take sine to the fifth x, and we're only going to be using our product to sum identities. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You might want to realize that a couple of videos back, there it is, we solved for sine to the fifth x, and we ended up with this equation here. One-fourth times three sine x over two minus two cosine two x sine x plus cosine four x sine x all over two. If we want to, we can start from there. All right, so we already know that sine to the fifth x equals one-fourth times three sine x over two minus two cosine two x sine x plus cosine four x oof, this is getting tight sine x all over two. Because we only want this in terms of sine, we're gonna take out these cosines using our product to sum formulas. This is what we get. We now have that sine to the fifth x equals one fourth three sine x over two, that's fine, minus two, and now I'm gonna replace this with one half sine three x minus sine of x plus one half there we go times one half sine five x minus sine of three x. Let's 